Hello and welcome to our Divine Light Healing Circle. Today we have again three themes of what I'm told. And of course, they always throw in some boons which I do not know beforehand. One theme will be about the heart opening and feeling and sensing the Holy Grail overflowing this heart connection to the highest potential of the spirit world. The second theme will be the Stargate heart, meaning to use the heart as a Stargate to higher dimensional and connecting our heart energies. And the fourth one, the third one is the Lemurian seed codes where we attune ourselves to a higher order through the crystal grid on earth and the crystal grid in the divine order upstairs. But before we start, I would like everyone to envision a kind of like a silver medallion, kind of a reflective shield, and to put that in the back of the nape, just envisioning, sorry, something is tickling, something in, not um, a physical medallion has to be put in, just to envision to have a silver little round plate in the nape, which reflects back all negativity projections from other people, from the environment, maybe from interfering beings so that we cannot be manipulated or taken over in any given shape or form. So as we always start, I would like us now to call in the golden light through the gateway of the golden sun over our head, the golden sun from our solar system gives us one ray which flows into the top of our heads into every single cell of our brains, eyes, nose, mouth, throat, neck, shoulders, arms, hands, and out of our fingertips, along the spine and muscle structure in the back, into the heart and chest opening both wide, into the solar plexus to make it more radiance, into the whole digestive system, into the hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like roots. All old non-supportive beliefs or energies of the day can be swept away into Mother Earth for recycling by just bringing in the glistening, wonderful golden flow, which burns off anything and everything which is not conducive to our well-being. And then we're bringing it overflowing from the heart into our aura, the electromagnetic field, smoothing over all energy holes, until our aura is filled with golden light. Easily and naturally we expand this golden light we are sitting in and expanding there with our aura with every single breath so that the aura fills our room and burns off all disturbances within our workroom here. And then we are condensing this gold into a golden ring of fire to keeping us safe and secure at all times. Now we are bringing in the frequency of the crystalline diamond light, purifying, energizing, attuning from the universal oneness, white, silver, shimmering, sparkling diamond light, shimmering in all colors of the universe, flows into us, into every single cell of our brain, eyes, nose, mouth, throat, neck, shoulders, arms, hands, fingertips, along the spine and muscle structure in the back, into the heart and chest opening both wide, into the solar plexus to make it more radiant, whole digestive system, hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like roots. 
and we're giving from this wonderful stream of white silver sparkling crystalline translucent shimmering light all the way down to mother earth's heart chakra crystals and we can feel already the hum in our body accelerating vibration as we have done so many times every single cell drinks from this nurturing light vibration and also while this is happening our own physical body heals and even as this humming and vibration goes into mother earth mother earth vibrates the in the attunement of the higher regions of the galaxy and the universe and this white crystalline shimmering translucent reflective light of many colors of the diamond light flows like a swirl like a snake from the core crystals of mother earth all the way up slowly and steadily purifying waters purifying underground rivers purifying soil purifying ocean waters and as it comes now bubbling to the surface can be absorbed by all beings plant life animal life human life and even extraterrestrial life as needed to be energized and to let go of anything which is not conducive to the well-being of the highest order and while this is happening a crystalline grid is formed from the heart chakras of all living beings from the core spark of all plant life from the consciousness point of all extraterrestrial lives this unity oneness grid is formed a shimmering network of light making us aware that we are all product of the same source product of the same one only shimmering aspects of the one huge diamond light each of us a different facet a different fragment with a different experience a different artificial timeline but all contributing to the one in all and all in one as we are now vibrating in the higher frequency we nevertheless ask also to bring in additional beings and we ask now to bring in our helpers for this particular journey beings of the highest order who would like to support us in our workings and we greet the ones who want to come to our right and the ones who want to come to our left and the ones who want to hold our back free of disturbance and the ones who want to uphold our heart and front and the ones who want to uphold us from below and above and as they are standing around us and being around us like a star grid like a merkaba they might be also connected to other aspects of our own self our soul self in existence
And it might even be that you feel several hands touching yours to form the ring of light for our workings. As the golden light still flows, it flows easily also into the grid work of the divine diamond light. You can feel the pulsation going on in Mother Earth and in all its beings who are willing to take from this nurturing vibration. But we are already uplifted to go to a different place in time and space. It is a healing place and it looks very similar to Mother Earth. It is a, one could almost say duplicate earth, only in its most natural form. It, look like, it looks like our planet with ocean waters and greenery, but it has more green percentile. There are no cities, just plant life and animal life. As we are now directed to this planetary Earth-like planet. And yes, you are allowed to find out its name. If you so desire, you can ask what this planet's name is in time and space. Look around on this planet as you're sailing slowly down onto the surface, but you're allowed to look from above and see what is all on this particular planet to see. What kind of plant life you see? What kind of animal life you see? A lot of the animals we have today are genetically derived from over there. And slowly and steadily we land on a beautiful meadow. This beautiful meadow has a lot of flowers and various plant life. And note to yourself at what time of day you are landing. Are you landing at a time of day where it's daytime or nighttime? And pay attention to the sun or suns overhead. Are there two suns or one? What colors do the suns have? I just address these things that you pay attention to your surrounding as this is a healing place. And you can come here without our guidance. Once you have made the journey and connect, you can always come back. And as we're now looking around this protected meadow, you might see mountains and ginormous trees circling this place. And as we are walking on a path, easily and naturally we see a particular huge crystal like a ginormous standing stone in the center of this beautiful meadow. Some steps lead to that 
crystal, which has a lot of riches, like regular Lemurian seed crystals on our planet Earth. Each of these ridges play a different tone and frequency in this healing place. We are now allowed by the guardian of this gateway to enter this ginormous healing crystal. Please look around how this crystal is formed and whether you have a particular nook or corner within this crystal where you feel more welcomed or more drawn to your place of power within this crystal. In the center of the crystal is place made for our group. This living vibrating crystal has widened itself to hold all the people from our list. And while we are now first heighten our energy by having our back or hands or foreheads and holding it against the crystal to absorb its healing qualities. We are bringing already the people from your list. All of them in one big swoop like fish in a net, you have so neatly put them in order, so it's easy for us to track them down and bring their energy body to this place. We group them by this easements so that they're easier healed as the attunement and atonement will be brought in by frequency levels. So we set the cancer once in one spot and multiple sclerosis once in another. And people with tendency for aneurysms which you did not have on the list, but you have one of those with your group. And they know others. And people with divorce difficulties, kids with pain, animals with pain, all of your list of sufferings are now brought in and settled in a circle like the flower of a rose, intricate, interwoven with each other, they're set together as a slight energy swirl is activated to draw in the unique vibration rate and as this swirl is activated from the Earth's magnetic field or from that better said magnetic field of the planet, it's bringing in the tones everyone needs, frequencies everyone needs, colors everyone needs. And so it might be that you see different colors than your neighbor or your friend in the circle. And there might also flit by your mind's eye so fast that you might not be able to differentiate them all. Or you see perfectly new ones.
some of you might also be confronted with the vision of the all one as if you would see an eye in front of you through which you see the universe, all of it, through that eye, through that gateway of oneness. In whatever stage you are, you can travel through that eye in the place of time and space you need to be to receive information you need for your life on earth, this earth where your body resides. You can also travel through the eye, the iris of the all seeing eye to meet friends and family members of your soul family. Soul family, maybe from beings where you did not have a body or you had a different body, whether it's even a reptilian body, a gray body with round eyes, or a purple shimmering body, or a white light body, or a gold illuminescent body, or a long thin white body, translucent or a body like an insectoid. Whatever you are drawn to at this time, make note and don't forget to ask who they are, what they are called, and for what purpose do you reconnect at this moment in time? For those of you who report to some planetary councils, you are released to give your report at this moment if you so desire. As most of you do not remember to do this reporting during your night's sleep. For that purpose, we give you permission to meet these councils now in full conscious form. some of you will receive power animal connections. Some of you will receive strings and strands of various blue light to do better teaching. Some of you will be loosened a little bit out of the body to be more translucent on your earth life and not to take it too serious. Remember, one of the tasks was last time to love more, be less serious, to be more lighthearted. For that purpose, for the ones who can still hear our voice. 
we ask you to bring a blue purple flame into your heart space. This blue purple flame will burn off worries, sadness, confusion, heart pain, the need to control everything. And it makes room for divine surrender. Trusting the universal life stream. Giving yourself over to the highest purpose and the highest intent possible. Some of you are great healers and will be given new tools as of today and new assistance as of today, new inspiration as of today. So when you have new ideas, how to help others, don't forget and write it down. We are giving now each and every one of you a signature into your body. It's like a homing beacon where you can call us as needed if you feel you have resistance or hindrances to fulfill your higher purpose. Would you feel the little pin prick? For some of you, it might have felt like a tiny little needle poking. Poking without pain though. We are not coming here to create pain. We come here to take it away. Today, we conjoin this healing ceremony with many different species. It is a galactic celebration because today, you have reached a frequency on your physical planet Earth so that we can come closer and all channels will be more open. Your screams of pain are heard louder. Your intentions of healing are fulfilled more easily. Widen yourself a moment more through a deep breath to expand the energy flow within your physical and ether forms. As we now point out the vessel in you, the vessel of your heart connection to all there is. In this place and time and space of healing planet, 
with the Lemurian standing stones of frequency, we are utilizing those to open the heart and heal the heart from physical disturbances and also damage from previous diseasements, as well as emotional heartache, as well as planetary heartache. And we opening your heart energy centers with a warm embrace of liquid light which will flow like a domino effect to all the beings around you. You are becoming the overflowing fountain of healing. We are a conglomerate of beings, which you can hear from her voice. Some of us are technical and program dimensional frequencies, as well as sacred geometry, what you call so, and manifest that way into denser forms. Other ones? are more gentle and more responsible for healing and bringing together that what has been split away and split off. At this moment in time, you might see or feel or sense some of the goodness of your higher being which had been split off from you maybe in other lifetimes. Now it can come back to you. These other aspects of your high frequency being give yourself permission to understand the God self, the Godhead, the source vibration in your core. Anchor it not only in your third eye, but also in your heart, so that all crustiness and all the pain can melt away. I ask you now to come back to the crystal on this healing planet, this Demurian standing stone. This gathering place within a crystalline liquid structure, this living stone. And each and every one including the beings on the list, will receive a gift again. This gift can be a symbol, a frequency connection, a promise of a good connection with your soul family to make it more conscious Whatever your connectedness, whatever flows through your strings and strands to you, 
will be now known. Feel it where it is given, whether it's given into your hands, head, heart, shoulders, anywhere in the physical form, anywhere in the energy body. At this moment, a glistening ball of living light with many little sparkling beings or entities descends like a swarm of bees from the tip of the crystal into the room of this crystal hall. We have encountered them before. They are what we call the little nanites embedded with source consciousness they are now descending onto all the people on the list including us and repairing what needs repairing what is permitted to repair what is permitted to be aligned what is permitted to be adjusted in ether form emotional form and also physical form of our group people on the list of healing and in our own circle. Take this moment to receive. This will also help you to align you with your purpose. To understand your purpose with your logic mind of your physical form and body. Now we are supposed to thank all the ones who gave us gifts, all the little particles of God consciousness, the little nanites. The crystal hall itself, with its connectiveness to many tones and frequencies, of healing. The beings we were connected to today bring now all of our clients who needed healing back, guiding their consciousness back into their physical forms, reintegrating everything correctly that healing can be downloaded into the more dense dimensions of this planet Earth where the disharmony was placed. So that all people on the list can now have better harmonious existence in this artificial place in time and space. 
as we can feel our change in our physical form, vibration rates in our hands and body, maybe lightheartedness of our being, as we are grateful for all the ones who kept us safe and this extraordinary journey, as we are now slowly say goodbye from that green planet as we're leaving that crystal and coming from the planet easily and gently drawn automatically and magnetically back towards our physical form here on earth and time and space. The beautiful green blue planet is left behind. The planet of healing with the standing stones. And we're coming back into our time and space here on Mother Earth. Integrating our physical form back. Taking a deep breath to reintegrate our spirit form into the physical form. Thanking our helpers to the right and to the left and all the ones around us, behind, up front, above and below. And all the ones who were uplifting us so easily on this journey. Gratitude. Thank you so much for participating in our healing journey today. See you next time.